it is easier to imagine percentages rather than to use equations to solve them we can start with 100 percentage of something represented by a full circle on the left we can divide it in a number of ways here we have tried to divide it in two ways first into two equal parts and second into four equal parts in the first case we get two halves out of which one will be equal to 50 percentage of the whole it is represented by the fraction 1 by 2 because 50 percentage represents one part out of the two in the second case we get four equal parts each equal to 25 percentage of the whole each part will be equal to 1 by 4 of the whole because one part represent one of the four other parts now let us go to a bit deeper into the concept here i have divided one half that is 50 percentage of the whole into two parts each so what will be the value of each part yes of course it will be 25 percentage interesting me i can again continue to divide the parts here i have divided the 25 percentage into five equal parts each of five percentage of the whole remember each part after that division is five percentage of the whole you can continue the process that is for example you can divide that five percentage into equal one percentages of the whole so there will be five equal one percentages so there is a new way of perceiving percentages the way in which we can subdivide and find small parts of the whole for example you can imagine 30 percentage as a collection of six five percentages or five six percentages on dividing it simply put a two percentage can be represented as combination of two one percentages it is that simple now one more important concept while solving the problems is how to deal with 10 percentages and one percentages well it is pretty simple you know that 10 percentage of 100 is 10 or if you take 1 by 10 of the value we get 10 percentage of the value another way of looking at it is if you move one decimal place to the left then you get 10 percentage for example 10 percentage of 995 is 99.5 10 percentage of 56275 is 5627.5 similarly to get one percentage you should move two decimal places to the left simple isn't it let us imagine one percentage of 558 it will be yes 5.58 Similarly, one percentage of sixty-five will be point six five. Okay. With these concepts in mind, let us try to solve some questions. Here we need to find fifteen percentage of sixty-eight. Normally, what you do is use equations, cancel and solve to get the value. Well, it takes a lot of time. To find it easily, imagine fifteen percentage. as a combination of 10 percentage and 5 percentage then you just need to write them and add them up so that you will get the answer here 10 percentage of 68 is 6.8 and 5 percentage of 68 will be half of that because half of 10 percentage is 5 percentage so it is basically 3.4 now we add them up And get the answer as 10.2. Similarly, let us find 27 percentage of 880. How do you split 27 percentage? Well, there are many ways. I took it as 25 percentage plus 2 percentage. 25 percentage of 880 will be 1 by 4th of it. Will be 
220 and 2 percentage of it will be 8.8 .8 added 2 times that is 17.6 now we add 220 and 17.6 to get 237.6 which is the answer it was pretty simple doesn't it finally let us find out 61.5 percentage of 630 well to split up 61.5 percentage you may need some practice i have split it into 50 percentage 10 percentage 1 percentage and 0.5 percentage 50 percentage is half of 630 which is 350 10 percentage is 63 1 percentage is 6.3 and 0.5 is half of it which is 3.15 Adding it up, we get the answer 387.45. Well, this is one way of looking at percentages. With constant practice, you can improve the method and find your own ways. Hope this video is helpful. Practice more, crack your exam. Thank you.